Okay, now we're coming upstairs so I can show you where the cotton bales come up. This is the door that would, where the window is. And this used to be wide open. This was not a window. When we preserved the building, we put the window in so we could maintain the historic integrity of what was going on. They would hoist the bales up. They would bring them into here. This, then they would be sectioned out to different sides of the building. This is where they would stay waiting to be sold, and the railroad would pick them up on the front side of the building. Now, one of the neat things you'll find about the building also is this area in here where we have our event gallery for weddings, business meetings, social gatherings, so on and so forth. This is an original wall. This is actually infield. There were two buildings, and over time, when they wanted to get into cotton, they filled in between them. That's how event gallery came. But this is the original. This used to be a tire company in this building on the other side. And you can see the firestone that was put into the bricks so people coming down the street would know they were going to, to the firestone shop. And we preserve this. This is the original. And you can see it's protected now so we don't have to worry about anything. But let me show you, take you to the back and show you where the railroad comes up. And you can see where the cotton bales were actually loaded onto. Okay, and now we're back here to what was originally the front of the building, which is now regarded as the back. You can see the railroad tracks. The rails is, is actually a little side track. They would come here, get right up to the dock, and they would load up the cotton bales right here. This is the point in time, it only weighed 320 pounds, yet when it came in on the front side, it weighed 400. This was where Richard earned his 1957 Chevrolet.